Hello everybody, I'm Carol, this is Hashtag Friday Sews. Thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for creating the Hashtag Friday Sews, which has meant a whole community of sewers can get together on a Friday and we tell you what we'll be making, what we're going to do next week, and just chat a bit about life and what we've been up to. So if you want to find anybody else, don't forget to type in hashtag Friday Sews into the YouTube search bar and you'll come across a whole host of people. You can even filter it into date order so you can see the latest ones first. So let's get on with it. First of all, apologies for my hair is like straw at the moment. You can tell we've had some sun in the UK because it's, it's getting blonder and blonder and it looks like straw. So apologies for that, but it is being done tomorrow. Um, I'd just like to point out an injury I have. I am sure many of you will have had things like this. This comes from trying on something and forgetting there are pins still in the armhole. So I plunged my arm in and scratched all my arm. I'm sure many of you have done that many times before. If you think we work with pins all the time, we should remember to check. But I didn't and I just went bravely on trying to try something on. Oh dear. The other thing that I realised this week, now have we've all heard of FOMO, the trendy saying that I think kids say, the fear of missing out, FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. Well, I think I have FOCO, F-O-C-O, -O, and that is fear of cutting out because when I get a fabric that's very, very pretty, I put it off and put it off sewing with it because I just don't want to cut into that. So I've decided I have FOCO, not FOMO, FOCO. <laughs> so remember that next time you use a really nice fabric and you can't, just can't bring yourself just to snip into it. Oh, right, so a recap. I made a blue dress last week and so many of you commented on it saying how lovely it was and didn't matter what I did with it. But some said remove the ties, some said don't. Oh, I don't know. That fabric was so lovely. I didn't want to waste it. So my dog's just come in. He's just, <laughs> he's in and out because I'm in the summer house. He's coming in and out. So the dress I'm talking about was the New Look 6340. And I wanted to love this because it is so much like the one that we all talk about, Simplicity 8560. But it just, I'm sure it would be fine in a very lightweight fabric, um, a drapey fabric. But what I used was the wrong type of fabric until it softens up. So is this dress here, I'll put a picture up, I'm sure you remember it, in this lovely fabric. Now, what I have done, after much deliberation, I have chopped off two triangles off the sides. I've removed the pockets and two of these triangles have come off the side. I have then put the pockets back, sorry, I put the ties back on just a little bit higher and I'm going to tie them loosely around it. I realise that if, if it's a stiffer dress like this, I love the shift dress shape. That seems to work better on me and that's probably why I was so uncomfortable with it being sticking out and being triangular. It's just not what I was used to. So that's what I've done. It's sort of shift dress but with a slight flare um, and now I'm happy to wear it. So I'm glad I did that and got that sorted. And that was project number one. Project number two. Hi cut into the gauze and this is where my foco bit came in i was going to do this simplicity 9274 i haven't it's a new pattern ish i think it was last year i've been really desperate to do it and i wanted to try this top and this to me looks slightly fitted um i thought it was work well um i've had to do some chopping on this one as well i'll put a picture up Double gauze, I am never working with it again. It is beautiful, it is soft, it is lovely, but this is the third time I've worked with it. First time, wasn't good at all. Second time, okay. It's the fact, it, oh, it's so lovely, but it doesn't drape well. And that's why I thought this pattern would work. Um, it doesn't hem well, the hem doesn't look nice and neat. Um, it's just a bit of a devil to sew with even though it's so beautiful. And I know some people make some lovely dresses and things out of it, but I've decided three tops in, I'm not going to use it again. 
even though it's so pretty. With this dress, this top, what I had to do was, you can see it's got the cut out in the neck there. Well, in the double gauze, it just sagged. So the only thing I could think of was to put a tie in it. And so I put a tie to bring it together. Look, very luckily, I had some beads left over from when my daughter used to do, we used to do um, braiding of her hair. So I had those left over. So it does look right. It's the hem at the bottom. It, it just, it's a nice top and I will wear it, but I won't wear it with pride. I'd just be grateful that I've done it and used it. And somebody did say to me that this will use more fabric than you think, and they are right. I may, I cut out this view here. I had to, even though I brought the waist up by an inch, which I normally do, I had to then cut another four inches off the bottom to get it to a level I wanted. And I also ended up taking in one and a half inches on either side. And I, I cut out the same pattern I always, um, same size as I always do in Simplicity, but I still ended up one and a half inches at each side and four inches off the bottom. And I ended up with a top that I can wear. As you see in the original photo, it just hung on me. It was just awful. Anyway, that was done. After I did that, I decided I need to do something fun and something lovely. So I did, do you remember the shark fabric I got a few weeks ago? I made my um, oldest grandson a little t-shirt because I knew I could do it and I'd be happy with it. It was so cool. He actually came into the sewing room the other day and I hadn't shown him this fabric and he spotted it and he said, what's this nanny? And I went, don't worry, it's, it's gonna be for you. So very pleased with that. I use the same one as I always do, Birda 9283, great t-shirt, and it's got the hood, if you wanted to make a hooded t-shirt. Haven't ever done that as yet. Um, what, I suppose you could make it longer sleeved and, and add the hood if you wanted to. I'm having to order the next pattern size up though, because I do cut the patterns out. I should really trace them, but I don't. So he's gonna need the next size up next time. So that was fun, that cheered me up. So I was at my mum's the other day and she's doing a lot of sewing and um, clearing out of her sewing little sewing room, sewing shed. Um, and she came across this pattern. She said, Did, would you be interested in it? I thought, yeah, I'll have a look at that. So I, it's a very, what does it say? Ultra easy by Vogue, pattern 976. It's a shift dress again, but this shape implies to me that it's kind of 1980s because it's sort of tapers in at the bottom and it's got a split at the back. But I do like the fact it's got that sort of button bit front, the top yoke with buttons. Um, I think I'll probably straighten that a little bit more. I do want to try it, but it isn't my size. This was a bit bigger than me. I'm hoping it's going to be easy enough to reduce down. I'm just trying to see if there's a year on it. Oh yeah, 19, 1992. Oh gosh, now I do feel old. My son was one then. <laughs> so um, I want to give it a try, but like I say, I it is a size big. So I'm hoping it's easy enough to, to cut it down, to work out how to cut it down. Something else I finished this week. I finished at last, I've got the two octopus, octopi done. So, um, because it was for my husband's PA, she's going to be a grandmother in September. So I finished the two octopi and I've also made some crinkle blankets. Now I made them for my grandsons and they're such fun to make and they're quite quick. So if you remember, I, when I went to France, I bought these little teething rings. So I have made two of these. I've got one with a teddy, and the one with the bunny. Now, they are simple to make. Uh, all I've done is attached ribbons around the outside. This is that lovely soft dimple fabric. Um, I don't know if you've ever worked with it before, but it's it feels so soft and lovely. And very luckily, the other side I had, when I went to um, America in January, I went into Joann's and they had this lovely jer cotton jersey with all these different animals and I'd just forgotten I bought it. So it was so lucky to find that to go with the teething rings. 
See, that's why we need a big stash, isn't it? In case we ever need these extra fabrics. Now, very crinkly, as you can hear. I put two lines of stitching just to keep them together. I know a lot of you are quilters out there, so you probably could have done a much better job than me. But what I used for the crinkle was um, a cereal packet. Um, so you know the actual cereal, not the box, but the cereal inside comes in a packet and it's always very crinkly. So I tend to use that and I wash it, obviously, and then sew that in the middle, sew the layers together. So I have these two. So I, I loved making them, they're so much fun. So I can now pass those on. Next week, I want to get on with the Simplicity 8640 for my daughter, which I hoped I was going to make this week, but I couldn't because I did a very silly thing. I went quickly onto Amazon to order the pattern because I'd cut mine a bit smaller and I ordered the wrong one. I've got the next size up of patterns. Um, so I wanted the, the one that starts 10 to 18 and by mistake I ordered the 20 to 28. Now it's here, I don't know what to do with it. If anybody is desperate to get hold of it, you're welcome to it. Especially anyone in the UK, I'm happy to send it to you because I won't use it. Um, the reason I'm not forgetting my American friends, but you can buy patterns so cheaply and easily over there. So if anybody in the UK wants this, send me um, a message and um, if there's a few of you, I just do it by random lucky draw and then I'll send one of those to you. But, so that's what I really want to crack on and do because she's going to love that. And obviously we had some very hot weather in the UK this week. It's getting chillier, so we need to get cracking and do that. So that's what I'm hoping to do this week. I'm also going to make a second let alone top and I'm going to make that one there. It's just, it looks like a simple top, um, but it's got a bit more complicated, um, it's got darts and things like that. Um, as I've said before, I'll keep the let alone separate to the Friday sews because I know some of you won't be interested, but in case you are, I'm going to use, I'm going to make it out of this, it's a very soft cotton, um, it's like a quilting cotton, but it's a really nice quality one. I've had this in my stash forever. So um, I hopefully got enough of it. Um, so I'm gonna crack on and do that this week. I went into the charity shop the other day and um, I came across this dress. It's quite a big size dress, but it's the fabric that I fell in love with. It's, it is a viscose, viscose chalet, it's not a cotton, but I just love this and it's a good size. So I'm actually quite excited because it came up as a gap dress. Um, and we don't have gap um, shops anymore in the UK. So I just love the fabric. So I'm hoping I can cut into that. I always have a plane flying over when I do Friday stairs. <laughs> So I'm hoping I can cut into that and make a top. Um, I don't need any more summer tops, but I just couldn't resist that fabric. I also, uh, we have a chain of stores called Hobbycraft. Now they're not as good as um, Hobby Lobby in the United States because they're too general. They cover every single craft. So from drawing, sketching, kids stuff, it's too general and they don't do much fabric. But when I went in the other day, they had completely rearranged all the fabric and got a whole row of fabric, plus lots and lots of quilting cottons. And when I spoke to them, they said they are increasing the amount of fabric they have. So that is good news. So that's another avenue I can go to, to, to get some fabric. And while I was there, while I was there, I just saw this, another Bisco chalet, but I'm, oh, I couldn't resist it. I'm probably, keep to next year now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a pair of trousers. I don't know. You shouldn't be buying any more at all. Now, what are we doing this weekend? We are going to visit my son who lives um, the other side. He lives in Kent, son and his wife. So that's um, really looking forward to that. Um, we should be going against the traffic because we live in the south. All the traffic will be coming to us this weekend because it's the start of the school holidays. So hopefully we'll be going in the other direction. Uh, our camping trip was brilliant fun last weekend. It was warm. 
it wasn't it was just before the real heat wave we had um it was warm during the day but it was chilly in the evenings which was brilliant because it meant we could all sleep so we did have lots of fun and the new tent that my uh, daughter and her family bought was very successful so that's really good that's all to report this week i've got stuff to keep me busy and i've achieved things and hopefully I will see you next week, if not before, with a letter low. And I just want to say thank you so much for, to all my subscribers. And the number is ramping up and it's just so exciting. And thank you for the regulars and the new people that always chat to me in the comments. It's just so much fun chatting to you and hearing your opinions. And you're all so clever and so wise with some of the things you say. So thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.